What we wear tells us so much about who we are and how we feel in the moment. We express ourselves, it's how we speak to other people about who we are. So we're going to find times when we really can't be bothered to dress in a way that makes us feel good. You might hide behind, you know, dull colours or baggy items. Um, and then other days you go full out and you put your best frock on and high heel shoes and whatever else. So it's really curious about how we dress. So if I compare and contrast, you know, many years ago when I worked in the corporate world, I went to work all booted and suited. You know, I had pretty shoes and matching handbags and I wore suits with matching blouses and accessories and oh my goodness me, it was, that's how I wanted to show up in the world. When I went out by comparison, I dressed completely differently. I was fairly wild and bohemian, I guess is the word. How I dress now really reflects my lifestyle and the fact that I feel so much more comfortable in myself. I live in the hills. There's no way you'd wear a pair of high heel shoes outside and anyway, I can't because I had a fractured spine. But I walk my dogs four times a day. So I actually practically live in walking shoes. But the rest of my clothes reflect how I feel in the day. So when I wake up, I know, I know what I want to wear. I know what colours I want to wear. I want to know which, I know if it's a shirt or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. I just know. And I will go out in, you know, my matching pink socks and pink tops and, and, and whatever else, because I need to wear that colour today. Now there's a lot that can be learned around colour psychology. And it's really interesting if you keep a track of the colours that you wear. Now, often we have those days where, well, I, at least I used to go to the wardrobe and you chuck everything out and you don't know what to wear. I'm going to invite you to think intuitively, get up in the morning, get in touch and in tune with how you're feeling and think to yourself, what colours or clothes, clothes and colours would I like to wear today? Now I do that every single day, so I'm, I'm not dragging stuff out. I know exactly what I want to wear. I want to know, you know, the colours, the fabrics, everything, because Everything I wear makes me feel a certain way and it's an expression of who I am. So when I'm at home, I dress in a particular way. And then if I'm going to go to town, I've got my nice clothes on. But what I do is I take my scruffy old walk walking shoes off. You know, obviously I put makeup on and brush my hair and take my hair out my ponytail and things like that. But I'll put some nice shoes and jewellery on and I'm transformed and I feel... I feel better because I'm going to meet my public, if you like. But keep a track of what you're wearing because if you're always wearing your pyjamas or your baggy tracksuits, it's really an expression of your worth. This is about making an investment in yourself. Now, one of the things I learned growing up is we had clothes for best. You keep the best for the best days. And I used to do that. And then I'd find I've got a wardrobe full of things that I've never worn because I've kept them for best. I don't do that anymore. I am worth wearing the best every day. I have got my best jewellery on. I put my number five perfume on because I love it. I wear my best lipstick. I wear my best, whatever it is. And this is how you show yourself and the world your worth. But... It's not only about worth, it's about this expression of who you are, because we forget that. So keep a note of what you're wearing and how it makes you feel. And if you are wearing stuff that doesn't make you feel good, that is helping to keep you in a really rubbish place, then my question is, is what are you going to do about it? Hmm? So how does what you're wearing tie in to how you feel about your life? What does it tell you about you? So really have a think about that. Now my next invitation is to go to your wardrobe and ask yourself, what does it say about you? 
I have another confession. Often I'll go to my wardrobe and I go, oh, zut alors, everything is in the wrong order. And I actually colour code everything. So I put everything in blocks of colours. And what that really helps me to do as well is to see that I don't need all of the stuff that I used to have. And I'm really, really ruthless. If it doesn't fit me, it goes into a bag and either gets sold or given to charity. You don't need the rubbish. So again, you know, decluttering your wardrobe is a great way of making space for discovering who you are. So what's your clothes story? You know, maybe you could go and get a piece of clothing and write about that story. Now, this green dress that we see here, in fact, all of those clothes that you see there, I wrote a story about that dress. That dress is I, I no longer have it. I had it in my 20s and that green dress and I parted like, oh, you wouldn't believe it. I had a great time with my green dress. So write yourself a story. Think about that, that piece of clothing. If that piece of clothing could talk and it were human, what would it say? So there's several parts to this, you know, Notice what you're wearing, keep a track of it, look in your wardrobe, declutter stuff, and then write a short piece about your piece of clothing. And I would be fascinated to discover what you learn about you.